Hi, I'm Richie and this session is going to be on a mat and we're going to start seated. So if you haven't done already, get comfortable. We're just going to be here to do a few little breathing exercises to get started, to get grounded. So whatever you've been doing with your day, this is something you can throw into the mix at any point when you've got a spare 10 minutes. Okay. So we're going to move a little bit. We're going to do a little bit of breath work, but the whole idea of this movement reset is that we're trying to focus on the areas that get neglected, that get put under quite a lot of stress and tension, areas like the shoulders, the neck, the back, the hips. And the idea is the more you practice these exercises, the more powerful they become and the more help you're going to get with your movement practice. Okay, so starting seated, take a nice big full breath in, a full breath out, take your time, want to be grounded, want to be focused, want to be present on your mat before we get going. So a nice full breath in and a full breath out. It's your chance to check in if you've had a busy day, you've been hunched over a desk, you've been maybe a little bit wound up, a little bit stressed, a little bit anxious. These movement practices allow us to check in with ourselves and take control. So a few little rolls of the neck, the shoulders, more of a body scan really. So start to move, move in thoracic air, the shoulders check in, moving left to right, moving slowly, but make sure you're breathing. If you get a few cracks, that's okay. Take a nice big full breath in, breathe up, full lung capacity. You're going to place your left hand on the left side of the mat. Your right hand is going to come up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, keeping the sit bones grounded so you don't lift up, you're going to reach over to the left hand side, get that nice side body stretch. Take another breath in, and as you breathe out, you're going to reach over and along in front of the body, you should have a nice stretch through the back, and then place that hand under the side. Take a nice breath in, lift the left arm up, grounding your left sit bone so you don't lift up. And when you're ready to breathe out, Folding over, nice long side body stretch. Take another breath in as you breathe out. Nice fold forward, sweeping across the floor. And take a nice big breath in again. Hands go behind the back, place them on your mat, open up the chest, take a nice big full breath. Again, opening the chest, take the shoulders back. Imagine you're filling all the lungs because you created that extra little bit of space and then soften and bring it all the way down. Walk the fingertips in front of you now, reaching forwards, take a breath in. You're gonna fold over the legs, chin to chest as you breathe out. One more breath. Maybe reach a little bit further. Nice, okay. Now we're gonna flip onto all fours. So you come up onto your hands and your knees, spreading the fingertips nice and wide. So we're going to really work on mobilizing the spine here now. So a bit of articulation of the spine to loosen everything up. So a nice big wide circle, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Find a, a movement and a tempo that feels right for you, but work into your body. Listen to what your body's saying. You're getting plenty of feedback, opening up that space in the back, and then take a nice big breath in as you lift the head up and tilt the hips back. So a slight different line with the spine. And when you breathe out, take the chin to the chest and push everything back up to the ceiling. One more time. And out. And then a few more circles. Open up that space, trying to separate the ribs, give space for that thoracic air of the upper back. Nice. So grounding the hands down again, knees are stacked over the hips, take a breath in. You're gonna reach over to the left hand side and you're gonna bend the left arm and then slowly stretch. So we open up that right side of the body, hips are nice and high. Take a breath in here. and then come back up, chain sides. Right hand is grounded. Reach forward with the left hand, take a nice big breath in, get that nice long stretch on the left side of the arm, bending the right arm to let yourself down gently. 
You can even rest the head on the side of the arm. Good, and on your next inhale, hands go forward, come up onto the fingertips. We're gonna open up and lengthen the upper body. Take a nice big full breath in. Hips stay high, so we get that nice stretch and a bit of length through the back as we lower ourselves down. You feel stretch on the underside of the arms. Breath in. Breath out. Good, and then walk the hands back. Take a nice breath in again. Move at a pace that feels comfortable for you. Again, this is all down to a practice that suits your level of ability and fitness. We're just trying to really check in and relieve tension where it's needed, okay? So take a nice breath in now. Knees ground down, toes ground down. Take a breath in, knees come off the floor. And when you're ready to breathe out, you're gonna push the hips up high, pushing back on your hands. So you get a nice bit of length through the back. The hips are nice and high. Maybe a little bend in the knees if you haven't got that extra range through the back of the legs. You might feel a bit of a pull for the calves. You're gonna walk the feet so the heels down towards the mat. And then separate the feet, the width of your mat, and then walk your hands all the way back and come into a low squat position, using your hands there as a bit of a guide, okay? If that's too far, again, find a level. It's okay if you're here, but it's really important we lubricate and get this extra space in the hips. Let me take a few breaths there. Then we walk the hands back out into a high plank position. Take another big breath in here. When we breathe out, the hips go high again. And then bring the knees down to the floor. Okay, so from here, another breath in. We lift the left arm up. So we're gonna keep the palm facing away. We get a nice stretch through the upper body. So we're twisting through the torso. And when we breathe out, this arm reaches underneath, so threading the needle as we call it, underneath your right hand, and you're gonna try and bring your left shoulder down to the floor. If that's a bit uncomfortable, or it's not enough range, you can bring this self, yourself forward, so your hips drop forward just a tad, and that way you might get a little bit closer to the floor. Release the breath at the bottom, chain sides, Right arm comes up, twist working into the upper body. Nice twist as you inhale and as you breathe out. Gently come down, take a breath here. Enjoy that little twist into the back. Good. Okay, last one here now. Breathe into the chest, walk the hands out to the right hand side of your mat so you can bring your left foot forwards, okay? So really gentle transition. Then you can walk your hands up because we're now gonna slowly ease into this right hip. So taking a breath in again, and as you breathe out, that's when we soften and really open and get the stretch. And then if you feel comfortable here, you're just gonna rock left to right, work it into the hips, a nice bit of space for those lower bellies, the lower belly, should I say. And then we take another big breath in as we lift and open up the left arm. Nice big stretch, twist into the back. And bring the hands back to center. Walk back, chain sides. Walk your hands to your left. Foot steps up to the right. Walk your hands forward. Foot can be down or up. It doesn't really matter at this stage. The main thing is you feel that you've got the anchoring from that knee to be able to Open up and get that stretch through the hip here. Keep that breathing going. Do not hold your breath. The breathing is such a big part of you actually letting go and getting these stretches a little bit deeper. And then when you're ready, full inhale, stretch, open up to the right hand side. Nice big opening twist through the body into the chest. And then bring the hands back. Come to a seated position, as comfortable as possible. So we end the practice whenever we're doing something like this, the way we start it, by grounding ourselves, 
checking in with our body, sort of checking in with how we feel. Do we feel a bit better? Hopefully we do. But more importantly, actually, just becoming more familiar with how good you feel when you've moved and you've stretched and you've opened things up. So keep up the practice. I really hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you very soon.